Right, not made a tutorial or videos in forever because I don't have time. So I've just done a run through on my own makeup, which is just a basic smoky brown eye and just like my skin and stuff. Just what This is what I do myself. This is not what I do on client. I just do my own face in like 10 minutes or something. This is me on a good day. This is a good, good face for me. I don't normally look like this, as you'll see. Mm. So apart from my brows, which were tattooed on there, there's nothing on my face. First of all, I'm going to start off with Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just going to take some like this. And these dark circles here are exactly why you need to be sure you're ready for a kid. See, when I'm in a rush, not going to lie, it goes on with the hands. And because I'm not going to do a dramatic eye look, there's no point in doing my eyes first. And I used to always do my eyes first. This here is Vici Derma Blend. I use Vici because it's coverage. Better than Double Wear, better than MAC Studio Fix. So if I was going for a night out, I would use a brush. I would do it properly. There we go. So now that my base is on, I'm going to do some highlighting. I'm going to use my trusty NARS Creamy Concealer. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this Nip and Fab is basically like white lightning drops. So I'm just going to put them here. And then I'm just going to blend it all in. So next I'm going to do my contouring with some um, sculpting powder. So this one is by Inglot. the nose this is like a flat angle liner so with a flat angle liner I'm going to start by contouring underneath the tip here and it just lifts the nose and I'm going to add some setting powder over this just to stop any shine some dark in the corner Blend, 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 blend. Then I'm going to take a light coloured eyeshadow. I'm going to put that on the inner lid. Okay, next for liquid liner, this is my own one and I keep in my makeup bag. First things first, I would recommend when you're doing liquid liner is to um, stick quite close to the lashes first of all. And then stop and blink. And then just take that out to the side there. So it'll feel like you're going up quite high, but that's okay. And then for that little tick at the side, I'm just going to fill it upwards from underneath, like that. That is why I love liquid eyeliner. And the same other side. So this is my the chocolate bar. This one here. Um, this is the licorice shade, this is the black shade, and it is black, black, black. So when I'm doing my water lines, again, I'm going to lean on something. There we go. So next I'm going to do my brows, um, give them a bit more volume, a bit more shape. So starting underneath with the dip brow. These are the doll Bambies, so as you can see, they are different lengths. So they always make the lashes too long, I'm going to have to trim them. Um, one, like how I'm going to know how much to take off is I'll size them up on my own eye first. Starting from quarter of the way across, not down here. There's a few reasons for that. One is it's going to be really uncomfortable. If you have an eyelash jagging in your tear duct, it's going to hurt and it's going to annoy you. If you have an eyelash 
um, down here, well that's where your tear duct is. So when your eye waters, the first thing that's gonna happen is that your lash is gonna ping up like that. And last of all, it doesn't look natural because, well okay, these aren't gonna look natural anyway, but it looks even more unnatural because we don't have eyelashes down here. Our eyelashes generally start about a quarter of the way in. That, that's not right. So about here. I'm going to put some glue on them now. The trick is to leave the glue on for probably a couple of minutes with these because the band's quite thick. And I'm just going to leave these here for a couple of minutes and I'm just going to kick back. Let's see if these lashes are going to stick. Now for some final touches, I'm going to use the Huda um, Warm Brown Obsessions and I'm just going to take some of this pink shade and I just dust that underneath. And then last of all, some mascara. Thanks for watching. Any comments, please leave them below. Um, please do follow me on Instagram. It is Jules Platinum 8.